Well, I think it came about because uh, myself and a few other like-minded uh, professionals became a bit disillusioned with with what was currently available within the market and the creep in prices and uh, the level of service wasn't really what we were, were hoping for. So we thought we could probably create something better. So that's how we came up with Education Mutual, which is basically, it's not a commercially owned organisation, it's by schools for schools, that's our strap line and it really is that. We're accountable to the schools we serve and uh, the people who are in control of the company itself. It was imperative that we had a solution, the staff absence cover, that provided that protection but also made sure that we were going to a provider that could give something back to schools. With a mutual, shareholders, there are none. So the schools themselves and members own the company. It's vital to us that we have that protection and then schools will actually come back and have funds returned to them in the long run. It can actually help us prevent illness and even help get staff back to work in a speedy and orderly fashion. As a school business leader and with an HR background, staff wellbeing is critical. It's really important that we look after staff, make sure that if they have any area of mental health, such as stress, anxiety, depression, that we can forward them straight away to get the support that they need. Education Mutual has been set up to ensure that's one of the key features within the, the policy that people take out. I've had staff who have had needs for physiotherapy, so if somebody had a slip at work, injured their knee, and straight away I can signpost them to specialist physiotherapy support and they always come back to me saying the feedback is excellent. That's the service that we wanted to make sure that Education Mutual, you will get the best service for your staff because that's what they deserve. We are a large secondary school with a lot of staff. To self-insure means that if staff or a number of staff are absent in one particular year, that actually makes it really difficult to manage your budget. I have a certain amount set aside within the budget for supply cover, I have a certain amount set aside for staff absence. If that is exceeded, then that particular year could put our school into a deficit position. That is not where we need to be as a school. And as a business leader, one of my roles is to ensure that the school is running efficiently and it is sustainable. Having a cover policy such as Education Mutual enables the school to feel safe, secure and financially sound. You're actually keeping money back in the education budget because if you sign up for Education Mutual, you pay your money in, the money's pooled, the money that's pooled is used to pay the claims and anything left is owned by the schools. It's part of the school's money. And the members have the options of what they want to do with that money at the end of the year and so I don't think you can get anything more sort of ethical or honest than that where the schools actually decide what happens to their money that they've paid in in the first place. The fact that we have got, with Education Mutual, very experienced senior leaders from schools who have been and seen all sorts of different covers for staff absence, the fact that we can have comfort and confidence that it's all for the benefit of the schools, it's our mutual, we're happy with that. Over the past five years I've had the privilege of being the chair of the Institute of School Business Leadership. As part of that role it's critical that as business leaders we have efficiencies for schools. Education Mutual gives us an avenue to explore how we can make additional savings for schools. Because we are in charge of any surplus then the schools will decide what happens to that resource. That in turn can come back into the public pot and we can make sure that we can finance whatever aspect we think is most beneficial for our schools without somebody who is in private business taking that cut for themselves. A mutual is a not-for-profit organisation 
and therefore all of the money remains within the mutual. We are all part of that mutual. When you sign up, you're all part of that. And any profit at the end, instead of going off anywhere, comes back into schools. And that's a really, really important thing for schools. Not only do you have the safety, but you also, at the end, you will benefit from any profit which is left. Education Mutual gives schools the chance to take the staff absence cover they so desperately need, but also to have that peace of mind that school funds can actually come back to us in the future. Who would argue with that? The fact that it has taken off so rapidly since its inception is proof. It actually speaks volumes that it's exactly what schools have been waiting for. It's doing so well, I would not go with Education Mutual.